As a poet once said, oh, what a feeling when we're dancing on the ceiling. What about spiders? I don't want them on my ceiling. How do they get up there? Hey, stickers, this is Trace. Thanks for tuning in for some D News. A new study in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Science has found humans could never be amazing like Spider-Man. We're too big. We'd need to cover 40% of our whole body with sticky pads just to be able to climb walls like a gecko or a web-slinging spider. But that got me thinking, how exactly do all those critters do it? How geckos cling to walls was a huge scientific debate for millennia, until a 2002 study, also published in PNAS, finally found the truth. It's not sticky mucus, suction, velcro hooks, or anything like that, but something else entirely that keeps those geckos on the walls. Molecular interaction. By testing geckos on various surfaces, the researchers realized geckos could cling to materials that are polar. Not polar like cold, but polar as in electromagnetism. Van der Waals forces are molecular level interactions first recognized in 1930. The forces are described by quantum mechanics, and they involve the electrodynamic interaction of molecules. Basically put, all atoms have a charge. Some are positively charged, while others are negative, and atoms with opposite charges attract. The researchers found the millions of little hairs that exist on some geckin feet called setae create a weak attraction with surfaces whose atoms have an opposing charge. Some geckin setae create enough attraction that they can hold up to a hundred times their weight. So in other words, it's not about chemistry or the amount of some miracle sticky adhesive, it's just about the physics of those little hairs in a particular surface. An idea this good can't just be kept to a small group of geckos. Convergent evolution is when nature evolves astonishingly similar ways to solve the same problem in different species. And one of the prey of geckos got this evolutionary bonus too. Spiders independently evolved setae, but theirs take the form of protrusions on their exoskeletons. These protrusions allow them to take advantage of van der Waals attraction as well. Thanks to their adaptations, spiders generate three to four times their body weight and surface force, allowing them to quickly jump, attack, move, or carry their own prey. The problem is, the larger some body is, the less able they are of taking advantage of van der Waals forces. Tree frogs, for example, need mucus to stick to things, also gross. And according to that original new PNAS study, humans were just too big to use microscopic hairs. That being said, engineers are using millions and millions of synthetic tiny hairs to create reusable adhesive that can come unstuck again and again. Unfortunately, nature is still besting us. A 2013 attempt in smart materials and structures was only 35% as effective as the strongest gecko toes. Someday though, geckos will get you. Guys, Amy and I are now on your TV box. It's like a computer, but it's bigger and it's in the living room. Every weeknight at 9 p.m., D News now airs on the Science Channel. Science Channel's D News Minute airs different stories every night to keep you even more up to date on the world of science news. If you love D News here online, come find us over on the Telebox too. Tune in every night at 9 p.m. or DVR it and binge. And if you do, thanks a lot. Geckos are just one of millions of incredible species on our planet that we can learn from. Ants. Take ants for example. They're organized, efficient, hierarchical. They talk to each other using chemicals. Find out more about it in this video. Patroller ants are usually the first to explore for food. So researchers drew them out, trapped them, and then placed tiny glass beads coated in the same hydrocarbon as the patroller ants outside of the colony entrance. If you could copy a skill from an animal, what would you copy? Climbing walls, slinging webs, flying, super long tongues, really fast running, I don't know. Let me know down in the comments. Keep coming back here every day for more D News. Make sure you subscribe, I'm Trace. See you later.